operating system. We have a hardware. We have a hardware. We have CPU. We have RAM. We have keyboard. We have a mouse. We have a um, so many um, hard disk is there. CD-ROM is there. Monitor is there. So we have a hardware. We have a hardware components. But how to work with this hardware? Okay, hardware is a important things to run your applications means your softwares to run your instructions to process your instructions right so we need a program to so yeah we need a program which is actually interface between you and the hardware so that is nothing but our operating system okay so if you see hardware hardware is important means your cp is for a processing memory to store hard disk to store your uh, data and operating system kind of stuff hardware is important to process your instructions without hardware nothing you can't do anything. what is a software software means application or a program or an operating system which actually we are interacting with it i am interacting with the software that is a, a direct web browser it is and there is a, a google docs i'm interacting with that one i'm not interacting directly to the cpu or a ram or anything right so i'm painting on the paintbrush right paintbrush is a paint a paint application it is I can able to interact. I can do making pictures. I open a notepad as an application. I will put a text in it. OK, so with software or an application, we can able to we are interacting. The user interacting with that one. And hardware which is actually process and stores users information, right? But our applications, our user cannot interact with the hardware directly because you want to interact with the hardware processor or a RAM. So you have to know the their languages. You don't have you don't have that language, right? Like a binary language or a hexadecimal language. So like that, you have to know it. Okay. Uh, if anybody from uh, CSCIT or a uh, these background people means anybody learn about a microprocessor, microcontroller programming. They understand somewhat like Mo A comma B assembly language is there. Even assembly language is also not a low level language. Okay, okay, not a low level language. It is also an instruction, but we are avoid a lot of things in between. We are using a computer. We are a user. We are a user. We are interacting with the computer to an application or an operating system, and the software is required. So, operating system is a software which acts as an interface between end user, means user, and the computer hardware. Every computer must have at least one operating system to run other programs. I want to run a notepad. I want to run a paint. I want to play a game. I want to uh, write a Python program. I want to write a Java. I want to run a, an application. OK, I want to play a video. I want to access Internet, so then I need a browser. So Google Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. These are all uh, the application I want to run, but I cannot run these application directly on the hardware. So how to run on the operating system only. OK, so operating system help you to communicate with the. Uh, communicate with the com computer without knowing how to speak computer's language. It is not possible for a user to use any computer or a device without having operating system. So it is simple to understand, guys. This is hardware and this is the user applications 
So not this diagram. My diagram is always this one only. This is my hardware, main CPU, RAM, or hard disk, or any other components, including network like a NIC cards. These are a hardware part. User want to run an application. So applications are running. Okay, you are executing some commands. Okay, so user access our computer based on this one. So user to access also. You need a user interface. User want to access a system, you need a user interface. Your mobile phone having a user interface, so then you can see at your mobile phone and you can uh, select your application, you can run your applications, right? So we need a user interface. So you need to run an application. So we need to give some instruction to our system. So to do that all, you need a operating system. An operating system provide an environment to run an applications and provide a user interface to connect with the user. We provide a user interface. An operating system interact with the hardware to run user instructions and application related instructions or anything. So operating system interact with the user operating system run user applications that part of operating system we call it as a shell okay and operating system interact with the hardware manage process manage memory storage network management will do by operating system that part we call it as a kernel kernel okay so guys, again, hardware to use it to process, store our user based on user instructions, user applications, and stuff. Softwares are a programs. Okay. So actually, it is a high-level coding. To do certain tasks, we need a software. To run certain code, we need a softwares or uh, to give certain instructions uh, to do certain tasks we need an application which makes interaction between those two things is your operating system okay so last time one batch last batch people got a question what is hardware and what is software okay find out answer properly okay so what is hardware what is software that's why i'm putting two three times on it okay so what is an operating system is a software which act as interface between user and a hardware computer hardware. Operating system runs user applications and provide the user interface. OK, and uh, you take user instructions. Run the user commands. By operating system that part of operating system called shell. And that operating system interact with the hardware okay and convert uh, user instructions into the hardware understandable code or a language okay and manages process memories storage network devices that part of operating system called a kernel okay so Guys, in generally, if you are going to learn about a Linux or a Unix, you may have seen this kind of diagram. But in Windows, you don't see it. There is a thing is there, guys, where it is a Windows operating system or a Linux operating system or a Unix operating system or any kind of operating, even a Mac OS, even server OSs or any kind of operating system two parts are there, kernel and shell. In Windows, we cannot see or we cannot manage kernel or a shell part. We can't alter kernel or a shell part of operating system in the Windows operating system. 
but in a line x and unix we can manage we can see we can manage we can write a program for that one also so that's why in line x and unix while you are learning so definitely there is this diagram but understand guys kernel and shell kernel interacts with the hardware kernel part of operating system interact with the hardware it manages your hardware related things okay devices hardware means the devices and stuff and also like a, a example like a disk management a process management network management memory management these are all done by your kernel only you connect a printer or you connect a speakers you connect a mic so how to interact with the audio chain how to interact with this printer connectivity how to interact with this um, uh, uh, video chip so nics so that will understand by kernel part only okay shell part is provide a interact with the user means it provide a user interface it runs user applications and cards in generally guys linux we know the um, uh, shell part is bash shell in linux in unix currently we are using bash shell born again shell okay so previously it is born shell and now it is born again shell not only these shells guys there's different shells also there. what is this user interface user interface is command line user interface for example i take cmd for example i want to give some instruction to my system or i want to create a file or i want to delete a file i want to do certain tasks through the command line that is called like command line interface command line interface okay if in case i want to create a file i want to open some applications i want to run some instructions through the graphical window like this for example i want to open an application okay for example i want to open this art like okay so um, i open directly with a simple mouse key right just i click and open it so that is my art like i open so i didn't use any commands right just i use simple mouse click i open that one that is a graphical user interface that is graphical user interface you can see you can look at your application your system and you can access it directly you can create a file you can delete a file you can transfer a file you can do certain tasks directly with the graph you don't require to type a command but in cli you have to type a command to do every task okay ui text based or terminal based user interface it's not a new one guys it is a old one only uh, if you may remember any c language turbo c language kind of stuff to the save the file you have to go to control f then go to save as option and give the location maybe now we having mouse options those times earlier days you don't have a mouse option so you have to do with the keyboard only but it will give you a interactive terminal type okay so that is a terminal based user interface or a text based user interface so we cannot use a mouse but we can get uh, all options so you not to give a command there so we can simply follow the options to to the task yeah tell me sir yeah tell me, tell me. Uh, what is the difference difference in git bash and this born shell git bash and born that is born in here is okay, in yeah, linux yeah i got it i got it i got it <laughs> yeah bit git bash normally git application you install in your windows uh, system so you can interact with your git application using normal uh, windows commands also git commands also you can do it and uh, git bash if you open as a git bash you will get a bash command line interface means like a linux dollar symbol you will get it okay 
to run any git command so you will get a dollar symbol and the linux git commands sorry 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 bash related commands means linux or unix shell basic shell commands you can run in this git bash you got a bash command line because of git application that's what it is saying git bash both are almost same only thing is linux in the linux you use a bash command line so you have to give bash commands and based on the linux related commands on the linux complete uh, uh, based on the linux operating system their applications that commands will work if you use a git bash basic linux commands like a bash commands will work like a ls command pwd command date command those things will work not all linux based yes. commands won't work okay both are bash shells only shell environment is same. if you install a w e sl i think w uh, sl 2 means windows subsystem for linux you may can able to run more linux based commands in git bash okay i don't yes, know that. Okay. very good question actually so shell in iran you will understand cmd one type in environment cmd one type of commands if you go to git bash so bash commands you will run that's the, that's the difference good good okay so next one is guys this is about a kernel and shell and about an operating system okay so i will tell about type of operating systems and uh, definitely um, after this one we have to tell windows and linux differences i will tell the difference tomorrow okay types of operating system okay types of operating system simple operating system and network operating systems are there different type of operating system is there guys okay normally operating systems are different flavors are there an operating system is operating system windows operating system linux operating system mac operating system in mobile phones you have different operating systems we have there right different type of operating system but windows linux are not comes under types of operating system there are operating systems that's it coming to the types of operating systems so sys nys type of operating system and a task and user based operating systems also there and the other type of operating systems also we discuss simple operating system basically desktop based operating system or a client operating system means windows uh, 10 we are using windows 11 windows 7 windows xp these are all desktop based operating system means i will access something from others like i'm accessing internet i'm playing games uh, i do all the things in, a, in a, my pc right so become a like a end user device or it can be a, a client operating client side machine simple operating system next one is network operating system nys network operating system it's a server operating system type it is server operating system means servers provide a service like you are getting web server so you are getting a web access from web server you are getting mail services from mail server okay so the servers operating systems specific server operating systems to run as server applications or maybe it contains a built-in roles or a built-in features are there like a dhcp server dns server storage server web servers remote desktop servers authentication servers different servers are built based on the uh, server applications are built in 
roles or features in that server operating system. So server operating system, Windows server operating system is there. Currently 2022, 2019, 19 is also using 16. Like that, so many are there. Windows NT onwards, so many Windows servers. Linux and Unix operating systems also under, comes under server operating systems only. Okay, so Linux and Unix not usually for a desktop purposes, except certain Linux flavors. So simple operating system, network operating system. Network operating system means server operating systems. Servers are provided service to the clients. Desktop based operating system access service from the servers. And desktop operating system are usually for regular user purpose. So we are using desktop operating systems. We don't use server operating system. Next, user and task based type of operating system I means single user, single task. I mean, only one user at a time uh, he can use a system and he can run only one task at a time, like a Microsoft does. One user, one task at a time he can run. So, one task completed, then next task. Single user, single task operating system. Single user, multitask. Our Windows operating system is best example. Single user means only one user can able to log into this PC. For example, I log into my PC here. I log into my PC. Okay. Single user. Why is I am logging? Multitask. Single user. Multitask. Again, uh, where I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah. So in Windows, we can able to log in with only one user at a time. Even you have a Windows system with 10 user accounts, but only one user can log in at a time, can run multiple tasks. For example, I am running Microsoft, uh, sorry, uh, Microsoft uh, my, uh, Edge browser I am running, and then I'm running uh, Microsoft Teams, and then control panel and my outlook of course we will prompt browser also see multiple tasks i can able to do it but only one user at a time can log into the pc either directly or remotely remotely means using rdp or kind of stuff remote desktop protocols multi-user multitask multiple users can log in at a time and multiple tasks they can perform. Unix and Linux is comes under multi-user multitask. Means only one server, multiple users can able to log in at a time. Multiple users can log in at a time. Multi-user multitask operating system. Okay, guys. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Someone is trying to ask Hello. a question. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Rahul. Okay. We'll ask one. Maybe my call or something. Okay. Other than this one, guys, we have different operating system like real time operating systems. OK, real time operating systems are, you know, simple to understand. We are using a commercial or a maybe uh, generally available operating system, multiple device supporting operating system. Windows operating system I installed in this PC. It's a it's a Intel support. And uh, I can install Windows operating system in Intel or AMD type of processor supporting hardware. Maybe uh, we can install in other kind of hardware also if it is possible. 
Linux, we can install Unix. Solaris, we can able to install, right? But this is a real time operating system specifically designed for a specific hardware type purpose, specific hardware. Zone. For example, uh, I will give an example. So, you know, space and maybe um, airlines they design a specific operating system for their own devices. The overall control of operating system by that organization only. For example, I'm using Windows. Windows is controlled by Microsoft. The, I will get a keep on updates. How to open to install any application? It is according to the Microsoft only. I can able to install. According to the um, uh, Red Hat Linux, uh, I can able to install an application. I can get an updates. Okay. So the overall ownership uh, may be controlled by that the organization, and it is. Generally, every person is using different uh, hardware support level is there. But real time operating system are specifically designed for a specific task on the specific hardware. That's a real time operating system. Distributed operating system, I don't tell about it, OK, because it's uh, again a lot of countries in it. Distributed operating system, so usually these type of OSs are designed to run on a multiple servers. Multiple servers, I mean two, three servers, single operating system type it will run. OK, so it is designed to support for a multiple server kind of stuff, but I am not, I said I don't discuss. You can search for what is distributed operating system, distributed applications. OK, but I'm telling like mobile phone operating system, guys, not only nowadays, even you see the olden days, small mobile phone, that kind of stuff also. Your mobile phones are supporting uh, uh, different operating system inside. You know that time we are using Nokia mobile, Symbion operating system, Symbion operating system. Blackberry mobile phones comes with a Blackberry voice. That's a Blackberry become a that time very big hit. OK, high demand mobile phone, not later Android came. So mostly Android, uh, Blackberry become Blackberry. OK, and a lot of reasons are there also. There. OK, so currently we are using Android, iOS, of course, Symbian, Tizen, OK, Windows also we are using that kind of stuff. OK, so guys, there is a possible question. What is the difference between Android mobile phone and iPhone kind of stuff? OK, and uh, Windows and uh, Mac. Also, question can be there. It's a general questions, guys. OK, Tizen from the Samsung. Symbion is from Nokia. OK, iOS, you know, iPhone. Mobile operating system. OK, so this is about your operating system, guys. So tomorrow I will tell about a Windows and Linux differences. It's already one o'clock. I will tell small thing about a what is this desktop operating system uses? Desktop operating systems to run an application, to install application, playing games, data processing, multimedia kind of stuff like audio, video kind of stuff. You will get it. OK, video editing, uh, this kind of stuff, web browsing. You can try programming, learn programming, create an applications. OK, it is a client side PC. OK. Or uh, we can say end user device it is desktop operating system. It's not central. Every individual desktop operating system for every individual PCs. Every PC, every user having their own desktop. Server operating system, it supports server applications. It has a certain server features also. Other roles and features are there. Server operating systems support this by installing. You, you can install a server application in it or by configuring built in features or roles. It become a, a particular type of server. OK, a server operating system become. It is a server operating system by installing in certain features or by installing certain application. It act like a, a type of server. It act like a, a type of server. 
like a DHCP server, DMS server, VPN server, two minutes of just action, five minutes plus. VPN server, web server, application server, file server, mail server, authentication server, proxy servers, VPN servers already I told, right? So remote desktop server, deployment server, database server. Okay, so I installed a Oracle um, 11 CRA, 12 C, or maybe a 19 C, I installed in a PC. Then in a server I installed, then server become database server. I installed a Tomcat application in the server, then it is become web server or, and application server. I installed a Microsoft Exchange application in a server and I configured it. So then it is become a mail server. Okay. If I install a WDS role in a Windows server, it become deployment server. Okay, guys. So server provides services to the clients. In order to provide a service, you have to install an, a, the server application or a configure built-in features or install the required packages, it become a server. You install a MySQL application in a server, it become MySQL server. OK, so like that, that is the difference between desktop and server operating system. So tomorrow we'll discuss about a, uh, Windows and Linux differences, about Windows 10 operating system, and other few uh, features and uh, other few things to troubleshoot us. So tomorrow is uh, Tuesday and Friday. So. Okay, guys. Up to here. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir.